So just a quick note, I'm going to regularly update the PyOpenGL series too. I just need more time to research and learn more about OpenGL. So, and the next thing is uh, GLFW or Pyglet. So, GLFW is not a GUI library, it, it's a multi platform library for OpenGL and Vulkan development. So, it can create windows, contexts, and surfaces and receive inputs and events. It cannot create uh, GUI uh, widgets like buttons. Uh, sliders, uh, checkboxes, and so on. And the uh, same is with Pyglet. It, it's a multimedia library, but if you wanna uh, create uh, GUI uh, widgets, you have to code or program them for your own. So, okay, just let's start with a basic frame. So, first of all, Im import the VX model, then create a class. Uh, let's call it my frame. It will inherit from VX.frame. Let's define the init method. Init. And uh, let's define the size. So size uh, it will equal to a tuple of 12, 1280 by 720. And uh, let's call the uh, wakes frames uh, in it. So wakes dot frame dot underscore underscore. Uh, in it. Okay, give it the self. Uh, the parent is none. Uh, the title title will be equal to let's call it my way x frame. And the size is equal to self dot size. Yes. So now let's create an app. App equals uh, vx dot app. And let's create a frame object. Frame from my frame. My frame, yes. Call the show method on my frame or or frame show and let's enter the main loop. So now we have we will have a window. Its title is my wakes frame. Its size is uh, 1280 by 720. Okay. So, first of all, we need to create this uh, application. So, every Wakes Python application needs to have this Wakes.app object. Mm. I'm going to put this into a class, so call it my app. It will inherit for from my vx dot uh, app, and let's override the on init method 
uh, and let's move this frame and frame that show uh, into this on init and this we need to re return true return true and then just create the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore uh, or <laughs> main underscore underscore then create the app and enter the main loop so i'm going to uh, do this this way so in in classes everything in classes so we have we will have the same result oh sorry app equals my app okay now it should work so we have the same result but now everything will have its own class so see you in the next video